So apparently Facebook is going to launch a cryptocurrency, a Facebook coin, and this kind of is built on the backs of a bunch of other companies actually embracing cryptocurrency and blockchain technology and using that as the value driver to build their company. And I'll explain what I mean here and I'll give some examples. So there's companies who are providing a product or a service like there's a company I know called Permission.io and what they do is they provide video advertising. So if you want to have somebody watch your video, they will get views for you, but you have to go onto their platform, buy their ASK coin or ASK coin, which is a cryptocurrency coin, and then you pay for the views in that coin. And in turn, all of the users who are watching those videos are getting paid. They're getting paid in that coin. So it's sort of like any other currency, right? Like if you went to go work in Japan and they paid you in Japanese currency, then you would be taking that and then when you came back to, let's say you're from the United States, you can come back here and then change that currency for dollars. Um, that is the currency the company paid you in and for you to spend it somewhere else, you'd have to change it over. So it's essentially the same type of thing. Um, you're going to an internet company, you're working for them or you're paying them to provide you a service and then they are giving you a currency which then you can trade over for dollars. And what's interesting about this is this trade over creates value um, because the coin is being traded, right? So Bitcoin became valuable because there was a market where people were buying and selling things in Bitcoin. And there were lots of different things, but one of the most notable economies that was driven by Bitcoin in the past 10 years since it's existed was a black market called Silk Road. And Silk Road had basically people buying, it was just a black market that was on the deep web, right? And so they could have done this with any coin, but they were doing it with Bitcoin because of its uh, anonymity and untraceability, so to speak, even though it got, it got hacked and that's all debatable. But <coughs> these coins, they become valuable because they're being traded in an economy. So when you create something like Facebook where um, people are buying and selling things on Facebook like secondhand used items in the marketplace what happens there is somebody might say hey you want to buy this chair I have for $30 how about you pay me 20 uh, Facebook coins right here I'll just pay you right now and they're like okay and it just turns your US dollars into Facebook coins and you pay the person right there and it becomes a, pay a convenient payment method, right? Um, there's many different companies doing this to provide some sort of value, right? And then also a way to invest. So if I want to invest in this company like Permission.io, what I would do is I would go and buy ASK coins and as those coins are traded, their value will fluctuate up and down just like a stock would, right? Because cryptocurrency is traded and when it's when that coin exists in different um, trading marketplaces or whatever you call them. Just like stock exchanges, right? There's different like stock exchanges for cryptocurrency. You can trade these coins and you can trade the value of the company, the shares that you own of the company um, over. Another company that's doing this that I found is Minds.com. They have a token which basically provides advertising value. It's like an advertising dollar and you can go on the platform and if you share on there you'll quickly earn these tokens um, and some of, and you can also donate these tokens too so some people who are like con uh, content creators like let's say like Patreon right um, Patreon gives content creators a place to be funded so somebody can be like hey here's my art and people will say that's really cool I'll give you five tokens per month because your content is so cool. And they'll say, thank you very much. And then they'll go and sell those tokens to an advertiser like Toyota, let's say. Toyota will be buying up tokens because they want to advertise the new Camry that's coming out this year. And so they'll buy all the tokens and they'll use them to advertise on that platform, right? So this is how the value is created. Um, 
but I'm mainly making this video because this is sort of a, an interesting concept from what cryptocurrencies have been thought of. People are like, oh, what's this internet money that's just coming out of thin air and like how does it work and why is it valuable and is it only valuable because people trade in it? And that's essentially like 90% of the crypto market to my understanding is that. But it's interesting now these these little coins that are popping up or these tokens that are being traded they're becoming valuable because there is a backing company or service that is being invested in actively in the background and this is kind of the model for the creation of that value is hey here's here's a way to um, invest in our company we don't need to have an IPO we don't need to do all these complicated things in order to actually just allow you to invest and buy into our company and to get paid on our company and or to get paid on our platform and all this all these different things so um, definitely something to look for it'll be interesting to see if the Facebook coin actually launches I think that Facebook is going to turn into more of a uh, sort of like Craigslist that seems to be the future of Facebook as people are not really using so much of the content platform anymore it's really hard for people to reach without paying on there um, and then also young people are leaving Facebook more and more uh, for just other platforms in general generally another Facebook product like Instagram is the biggest um, place that they're going to but it's only a matter of time before people will realize that they don't want to post for free anymore and if something comes out that is just as good as Instagram that allows people to be paid in some sort of tradable cryptocurrency that's similar to like a Bitcoin then that would quickly be a way for many people to make lots of money outside of brand deals they would be able to make money just because they're sharing and they're popular and people are uh, donating and the system is generating these coins for them so um, anyhow that was definitely uh, draw on that video if you like it. Thanks a bunch for uh, hanging out here. Comment, subscribe, and have a good one.